what's up everyone thank you for tuning back into my channel today i hope you all did hit the subscribe button please hit the little bell so you can be notified as soon as i drop another video so today i'm coming to you with another unit by outre melted hairline and the name of this is called divine uh, the color I got her in is DRFF Cajun Spice. As you all know, I will put it in the description below. Look at this color. It's matching with my bed, my bed sheets. But yes, so as you see, that is the amount of lace you get. They gave you a little adjustable strap on the back. Um, they also have a couple of combs inside the unit. One in the back, about three going across the hairline. Uh, they also have the little tiny adjustable straps to make your wig a little tighter. As you all know, I'm going to tint the lace with this Ebon or Eben tinted lace spray. Make sure you shake it up real good so the color can get uh, fairly mixed. Spray that right onto the lace. Try to do it a little bit further away, but you want to get it evenly on there so the lace can kind of be the color of your skin. But... I have to practice with this so I know the more that I do it the better I will get because when I did put the unit on I did see a little bit of a shadow but anyway I took that spray and I sprayed it on top of my lace wig grip just so the color underneath can be the same as well it's up to you ladies on what you want to do but that's what I did just trying to finesse this wig The color is nice but as I seen um, the wig part was on the other side so I had to go ahead and switch the wig grip to the other side where where the lace was at and I prefer my my part to be on the other side but I didn't really notice that it was on that side but whatever so let me put this unit back on see how it is fitting let me see what this hairline is looking like since they love to call it a melted hairline. <laughs> Here it is on me. Ladies, take your time with this. Take your time adjusting it. Fitting it to your hairline. I just wanted to show you all. It does look pretty natural. So just make sure you just finesse it the way that you all love to do. Ladies, I hope that you are not coming to this channel to see how to lay a wig because I am not that person. <laughs> I need to go ahead and take some more lessons myself. Yeah, that's not my thing at all. But I'm going to do my best. If you all have any tips, please leave them below. I will take whatever I can get. That is what I'm going to lay my wig down with because it's not temporary for me. I do not sleep with these wigs. They get on my nerves. <laughs> when I come home, I take that bad boy off. I cannot go to sleep with that joint on at all. Mm -mm. And I love my edges too much. Mm -mm. I know some of y'all do, and I'm not knocking it, but this is what I do. I just take a little bit of that guys to be glue, and I put it around my hairline. That will definitely get me through the day or whatever little function I'm going to. And to keep it right on. Look at me. Look how ghetto that is. I took the little edges and tied it underneath my chin. <laughs> I am so ghetto. But it's all good. So it was a little tacky. So I was just trying to uh, push it into my skin a little more. And here I go. I'm going to take my Fit Me uh, powder and put that some more into the hairline. Because there is like a little white shadow cast from the lace. Ladies, do what works for you. Because that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I am no teacher. I just wanted to come on here and show you what this unit looks like. Just in case you wanted to purchase it for yourself. Meaning the color, the length, 
uh, if it's too tangly, uh, if it's silky, if it's yakky, you know, all of the little details and specs that you may not get from just looking at it on a picture. That's why I'm here. So here I go, I'm gonna comb it out. And if I did not mention, this unit is very silky. Very silky. I really wasn't feeling how the um, the layers were falling. Mm -mm. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that at all. Look, it, it just looks a little crazy. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to lay that down a little more. I didn't have a, well, I do have a hot comb, but it's one of them little janky ones. So it don't have like a, the little kickstand at the bottom to like hold it. So I don't have anywhere to sit it and it doesn't have like a, a temperature gauge. So when it's hot, it gets hot. And I know it will burn right through this damn lace. So I need to get me a new one. Here I go, just assessing the situation. I'm not feeling it. So again, I'm gonna take my scissors and chop. Chop, chop, chop. Sometimes, lady, that's all you need to do is just tweak it a little bit, cut it, put your own little layers in it so it can fall to, you know, how you like it. Like I wasn't even feeling that part. It was too long. It wasn't even falling right. So I'm gonna do what I do best. I'll cut something up real quick. And for real, I'm, I kinda played myself cause I should have curled the bang. I should have took my um, curling iron and put a little bump in it or something, but I was just trying to work with it. I don't know. But I like the color, you know, I just, sometimes I like to just venture off into some other colors. It ain't gonna hurt a little $20, $30 unit. Go ahead and throw that thing behind your ear, baby. And that's what you got. But anyway, I want to thank you all for tuning into my channel once again. Please uh, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank mm -hmm. you.